Welcome, Yutide, or should I say, the goddess Yutide. Oh, so amazing. It's very rare that we have divinity in this room, <laughs> so I bow down. Um, I, you are aware that I only play. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Just, just check it. When we talked after the season two finale, mm -hmm. I said to you, I bow down before you, not only for all the regular reasons, but that scene with Shadow, first of all, the vulnerability and power that we see in Vilquis, but yeah. then also you asked for her to, yeah. to be au naturel during that. Right. <laughs> That's my question. All, all the questions, right? <laughs> no, it, it was very important um, to me that we see that Vilquis is not shying away from all sides of herself. I love that in second season we're exploring more of the different facets uh, and we're seeing her dig deeper into remembered power and strength. Mm -hmm. It was very important to me that the message did not become as she was more in touch with her own strength that she was going to cut herself off from her you know, sensuality. Uh, it is a part of her and it's not something that she feels any um, any kind of negativity to. And in fact, she fully embraces it. That's one of the reasons that I love Vilquis. And I loved the fact that in a space where you see all these gods preparing for war and in essence armoring up, for her to go in a battle, she's going to go fully vulnerably as herself. So good. I mean, and it definitely made an impression on Shadow. Well, yeah. <laughs> She's not a stupid goddess. <laughs> uh, it's really, that was really fulfilling on many levels. Um, one, the fact that I did need to ask to do that, I was really joyful about that. Because that was not in the script. It was not in the script. Mm -hmm. And so to be in a space where people are really paying attention um, and are really working towards um, keeping it a safe space is a gem. And I also love them that when I you know, came forward and spoke as a collaborator, um, everybody was willing to jump in um, with the concept. And I think it really did bring something, uh, it, you know, it was already an interesting scene, but I, I do think it brought uh, other levels in there as well. Yeah. And then she, she disappeared. Then we, we did not see her again, right? For the or does she? Or does she? Well, that's my next question. So she started making her own moves in yeah. season two, right? Yeah. She's no longer so much a puppet of yeah. whomever. Um, I can't imagine that in season three she's going to be like, well, that was fun, but I'm going to go back to just doing whatever the dudes tell me to, to do. I am so excited for this season coming up. Um, Ichik Egli has joined the team. Uh, we may recognize the name from, I don't know, something called Dexter. Uh, Walking Dead, <laughs> The Shield. Uh, you know, all those fun things. Mm -hmm. I got to see a play by um, one of our writers, Nick, that was just so layered, so psychologically um, intriguing. I can't wait for the ways that we can marry what's been going on with Bill Quiss, um, and these new textures and, and layers that are, are going to be added. Um, I think it's going to be a doozy and I'm, yeah, Bill Quiss, Bill Quiss does her own thing and Bill Quiss does not fit in a box. When we come back, Shadow will be, well, I mean, I'm sorry, Mike. Ansel will be uh, in Lakeside, right? Yeah, you caught that uh, name change, eh? I did, I did. And possibly Bilquis's role in all of that. I mean, who knows? She works in mysterious ways. <laughs> um, I'm wondering, would you like to see Bilquis kind of show up there? Because she does not in the book. We are way past where she was. And that's the exciting thing about Vilquis mm -hmm. is that you know every time she comes on the screen it's going to be something new. You don't know which way it's going to go mm -hmm. because we have passed, as you said, um, that point in the book where you know she was taken out quite quickly. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that every time she shows up on the screen it leaves you on the edge of your seat in that way because you're not quite sure we're in completely uncharted territory uh, in a familiar world but seeing some unfamiliar um, 
elements along the way. All I'm saying is Lakeside is cold. <laughs> I just hope she's got like a winter wardrobe. I mean, I know Yatide will be wearing a lot of layers. Uh, we'll see what Bilquis is up I to. Don't even, where would they put the hand warmers on you? I don't even know. Like <laughs> Just all over. You don't, we'll put it in post. <laughs> <laughs> um, before I let you go, uh, this is us. Yes. I'm hoping for a she she showing up again. Oh uh, yeah, no, Chi -chi, yeah, she she adore. No, I'm I'm also hoping for her to show up again. Um, there's, you know, it's funny. I I went off and was shooting something else in Vancouver, and everyone was going, "Oh, are you?" At, and I just shared a little piece that said, "Hey, I'm filming," mm -hmm. and people said, "Hey, are you doing this as us?" I am so excited for all their Emmy nominations. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited for that whole group. Um, so, and I've been talking with my daughter, Sky. Oh, awesome. Um, and it would just be wonderful to, you know, to, to head back, but I don't have any inside information on that. However, I do have a project coming up that we should hear more about soon. Yeah? Yeah. But that's all you can tell us? Yeah. Can you give me any, give me any, give me the vaguest, weirdest tease? It's magical.